Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be fixing this awning rail. This caravan belongs to a friend of mine and he had a little bit of an accident with a post and he's crushed all the edge of the awning rail in. So obviously he can't use his awning. So I'm going to show you how to fix this if you ever have the misfortune of having this happen to you. So the tools for today are quite simple really. We're going to be using some WD-40 silicon and we're also going to be using a hammer and we have got what is called an awning spreader. I'll explain a little bit more about that later. So let's get on with the job in hand. So the damage is in this section here and a bit lower down as well. You can see by the dirty marks and the scratches actually in the aluminium. So what we're going to do, we're going to first of all, we're going to soak the awning rail in silicon spray. So let's do that now. Right, so that's that done. Now, the reason why I've done that is we're gonna have to fit this in. Now, this has two sort of round sections on it. One is eight millimeters and the other one is 10. Now, for this particular awning rail, what we're going to use is the eight millimeter. So, as we've got an awning rail opening here, what we're going to do is we're gonna insert the actual tool inside there and run it down so we get to the point where it's starting to bind like so. Now taking the hammer now what we're going to do is we're going to move the bar towards the front of the caravan so that it's not catching on the inner and we're going to slowly tap that down and in theory what this should do is spread the actual awning rail out. So we've inserted the tool and what we're doing at the moment is we're just rocking it backwards and forwards on either side and it's opening up the awning rail quite well. It's leaving some jagged edges but that, that's partially due to the damage from the actual incident itself but with a file I would imagine we could smooth that flat and it'll look a lot better. Now we've opened that up now took quite a while you're going to need a good hour to do this so let's remove that let's see if we can get an awning rail protector through it because if we can get some awning rail protector through it I'm sure we can get our awning that's a lot better it is jagged though like I say I think I'll, I'll return to this job uh, with a file and smooth it flat now I'm guessing, round about now, you're saying, hang on a minute, you weren't wearing that earlier on, what's changed? Well, simply, I went back and I looked at the edit uh, for this video, and I wasn't happy with it. I didn't want to leave it uh, as a video without finishing off the jagged edges on the side of the actual awning rail. So what I'm going to do now is show you a few more tools that I've come down and brought with me today, just to finish it off and, and, and complete the job, so it looks a little bit more presentable. And for me, I'm happy with it. Oh, by the way, the gloves, it's cold. So the additional tools I've brought down with me today is a little bit of methylated spirits and some tissue paper. Uh, there's a couple of stubborn black marks I'm hoping I can get rid of. Some very fine steel wool and some mini files. Now I went home as well and I looked for my files and I couldn't find them as typical of me. So I went out and bought a new set of mini files, uh, which I, they'll come in handy. Uh, I bought them from one of the uh, big uh, box stores that don't need my endorsement. Okay, so taking one of our files, what I'm gonna do is slowly just smooth this off because it's really jagged. Um, it was concerning me that um, they'd used the caravan before I had a chance to come back and do it. And put the awning up and, and it uh, rip it. And then I wouldn't be very popular, would I? So, just want to take this jagged edge off it. And filing on aluminium is not the easiest, easiest of jobs to do, I grant you. But it needs doing because there's so many jagged edges. So I'll get on with this and then I'll come back to you when I've finished. So I've smoothed this off now, best I can. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a clean. 
and the one over just off camera at the bottom, just get that one done as well. Just took some of it out, but not everything. I think we'll have a go with a steel wool now. Now with the steel wool, just be careful, you don't want to obviously scratch the actual paintwork, even though this has actually been scratched as part of the damage, you don't want to make it any worse. Now I had hoped it would have took some of them uh, black marks out, but it's took some of it out, but not as much as I thought. I'll keep going for a little bit and I'll come back to you in a second. So after a good 5-10 minutes I've managed to get most of the black out of the aluminium. Now there are probably uh, stuff that you can use to treat this, uh, I'm not an engineer but I just feel that that's a lot better and a more improvement and it makes it usable now. Uh, the uh, files have took all the jagged edges off this side here on this side and it's not going to snag the awning or cause a tear or rip in it so I'm pleased with that. Well folks, I'm reasonably happy with the outcome of this little fix. Now I'm no engineer and you could probably do a better job than I, but at the end of the day, it does do its job now. Uh, it doesn't snag the awning. It's not gonna cause any damage to it neither. And my friend will be happy because he can use his caravan again. Now, as regards to the tool, I um, wasn't very really pleased with this. It bent, it started to split, and all right, it was five pounds. Did it do its job? Well, sort of, yes it did but uh, this is just fit for the bin now, sadly. So uh, I won't be leaving a link to this because um, I can't really recommend it, but I'm sure you might have something better uh, that you could probably share with me and the rest of us. That'd be great. Now, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you'll join us again real soon. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and also please consider subscribing. Thanks again. Bye for now.